Punchline is finally going to kill Batgirl. But what if I told you it was all a nightmare? In the world of DC right now, they're dealing with the Night Terrors. The villain Insomnia has placed all the heroes and villains to sleep so that he can search through their nightmares and find the Nightmare Stone. Typically, I wouldn't cover a Punchline storyline as I'm not a huge fan of her, but this story is actually really fun. So let's go ahead and get into Night Terror's Punchline issue number one. And you found yourself at Comic Storian. Here we make audio dramas of your favorite comic books so that you know what to add to your collection. And so far, I'm really recommending this one based on its art and story. There wasn't much of a resistance during the robbery. Actually, there was none. A hand punches through the glass of the security office, examining the sleeping man, but drops them. Punchline sighs. That was too easy. Everyone is out like a light making all of my knowledge of gases and drugs useless. At least all of my experimentation seems to have made me and my gang immune to whatever made everyone else fall asleep. One of the kings says that they got the access card that she was looking for. Punchline asks them if it's true. Have the bats all abandoned the clock tower? King says that they snuck around a bit, got the video evidence that she wanted. They used Marty to test the security protocols. Punchline asks what happened. King tells her, the original run-through must have missed one. We fixed that, but there's no fixing Marty. Punchline smiles. She'll have access to the Bat family's whole network and the evidence to show that they're just mindless authoritarians real soon. But at that moment, a shadow looms over and Batgirl says that it looks like someone missed their nap time. Punchline's face lights up. Oh, thank God. I was about to fall asleep from boredom. As Batgirl jumps down, Punchline sprays her with a gas, but it seems to have no effect. And Batgirl's actions are being rather strange. There's no quips. Isn't she one of the snarky ones? Instead, she's got a grin that reminds her of Joker's gas. But if Batgirl had been gassed, she'd have gone down by now. Batgirl swings by punching into a window, and Punchline dodges, delivering a hit of her own. With Batgirl off balance, Punchline kicks her from behind. Batgirl falls becoming impaled on the broken glass of the window. Punchline looks at the situation. It's fun to exterminate a rodent, but wait, I did it. I killed the Batgirl. Punchline takes a closer look at the body, seeing that Batgirl isn't responding to any of her pokes or prods, and she begins to laugh. <laughs> I may have landed this joke better than he did. She looks outside to see Batgirl's motorcycle. Oh, and look, she left me a congratulatory gift. Punchline begins to race down the empty streets of Gotham, telling herself that everyone must have fallen prey to whatever the big sleep thing is. Part of her wants to know what's going on, but really it doesn't matter. She won, and no one can stop her. Soon she'll get to see inside the Bat family's headquarters, the one that she has been trying to get into for so long. By the time everyone wakes up, she'll have control of one of the best surveillance systems in the entire city. Punchline continues her ride. There are prying eyes watching her every move. Later at the clock tower, Punchline makes her way in and it's better than she expected. The place looks both lived in and abandoned. Cobwebs reflect the light from the well-lit terminals. Dust streaks tables of recently modified tools. And when Punchline starts to walk past all the suits, she feels the presence. Like there's something reaching out to grab her. She looks back to see nothing shaking her head, stating that she needs to ignore the family-friendly freaky decor. She's got the whole world in front of her. Punchline gets to work on the computer when suddenly the alarms go off. It couldn't be her, right? But from behind, a decaying Batgirl tells her, None of this is yours. The dead body lunges at her, and Punchline says, No! I saw you die! You know what? It doesn't matter. You must be connected to the sleeping city. You must be. Punchline cuts, slashing away as quick as she can to try and slow Batgirl down, but eventually the shambling body punches into one of the monitors and gets stuck. Batgirl tries to pull her arm back out, but as she does, the wires and connectors begin to fuse to her. Suddenly, her undead body becomes more machine than human. This can't be real. It can't be real. She can't be real. Punchline is repeating, and there's a high-pitched shrieking coming out of the monitors, a squelching from the flesh. It can't be real, she can't be real! She repeats again as the scorching electrified flesh has the wires warp around and weave through the monstrosity. This, no, no, she's not real! Punchline continues to say to herself, this has to be an effect of dream-inducing drugs, but I can feel sparks hitting me and the screeching that is killing my eardrums. 
that it wasn't supposed to end with me running away like some horror movie victim. But most horror movie girls aren't surrounded by bat toys. Punchline says to herself, Batgirl swings narrowly missing Punchline. But even though she wasn't hit, Punchline can feel the force from the swing. If this isn't real, how did I feel that? Grabbing one of the capes, Punchline runs over, jumping out the window. I have no faith in this leap and I'm running out of options. Batgirl's glider slows to a descent, but before she can reach the ground, Punchline can feel something barreling down on her. She felt it so strongly that she could almost see its disproportionately large limbs and cording coming out of it. The large mechanical hand snatching her out of the air, and Punchline begins to struggle. No! No, 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 no! I can see it all! The impossible angle from above me! This is impossible! But it's all so real! And that concludes Punchline's Nightmare. To kill a bat girl creates something far worse. Night Terrors has been incredible, and I am loving most of these storylines. And if you want to keep up with it, make sure you like and subscribe right here at the channel as we're trying to bring you as many of these as humanly possible. If you want to catch the next parts to most of these, you need to just like and subscribe, and we'll bring them out the moment they arrive. Don't forget, you can get early access to a lot of our videos by joining us at YouTube Memberships. We're currently revamping that plan, and we'd love to have you a part of that community. And you can also get early access over at Patreon. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time right here.